Hi everyone, my name is Shai Berkenblit and I'm a product manager from the SAP Business One product management team. In this video, I will show how to use the new B1 Web Client URL Generation API. With this API, we can get the URL of a Web Client view. We've built a Web Client extension to show how it is done. We'll go into the Extensions tab and open it. The source code of this extension is part of our online help, so you can open it and learn from it. The first API I'd like to show returns the detail view of an object. It can be either a system object or a user-defined table or user-defined object. In this example, we will use a system object. In the object name, we'll choose items. And in the business object value field, we'll put the key of the item we want to get the URL to. We will click on Get Detail View URL button that will call the API that gets the URL. To see that it worked, we can copy the URL and paste it in a new tab in our browser. We can see it worked and the correct item is now open. Let's move to the next API. The next API is about getting the various view options of a list view. You can see in this dropdown we have three different views for the same list view. The user can change this list and add or remove views to it as he wishes. To get this list via the API, all we need to provide is the business object and we get back the various views. Items by price, all items and items by warehouse. Each view has a unique ID and we will use this ID in our next API call. Let's copy the ID of items by price and use it to get the corresponding list view. We'll click on get list view URL, copy the returned URL and paste it in a new tab to see the result. We expect to see the item list and the item list is now open. And we can see the selected view is items by price, exactly like we asked. To summarize, we saw three new APIs. The first will return the URL of a specific object. The second API returns all the views that are applicable for an object list view. And the third API will get the URL of that list view. The extension we just reviewed is part of our online help. This includes the API documentation and the source code and deployment file of that extension. We have detailed documentation of each API and of course you can view the source code of this extension and learn how to use it. Let's take a look at the code calling these APIs. This function is called when clicking on get variant list. It uses the object type and object name fields and sends them with the API call. The same mechanism is being used in both the other functions. Here we can see the get list view URL. It takes the list view parameters from the UI and sends it along with the API call. The same is done for get detail view URL. Business object type, name, and value are being taken from the UI and used in the API call. So this concludes our review of the new API. For more information, you can check the online help. There you can find the detailed documentation and the full source code of this code sample. Thank you for watching and have a great day.